Hi guys, welcome back. In this video lecture, we are going to do the concept that is equation of angle bisector of two straight lines. And this chapter has always attracted questions in all the previous J mains and J advanced question papers. So what we will do in this part, we will try to understand the basic concept that is involved while finding out the equation of bisectors and see its various application in terms of questions. So let's start with this chapter. Bisectors of angle between two given lines. This topic is the topic of ultra most importance because this topic has always attracted questions like anything in every competitive engineering exam, whatever happens in our country. Right. So let us try to recapitulate and understand it very strongly. Suppose these are the two lines. This is line L2 and this is the line L1 which is being given to us and we have to find out the bisectors. So suppose this angle is theta and this is also theta the angle between the lines is 2 theta and we have a line which is bisecting these two lines one bisector is this and the other bisector is this now as if this is a bisector and you know it's a property of the bisector that you take any point on the bisector and from there try to draw two perpendiculars on the line you will get equal length so equal length whenever we draw perpendicular from bisector to the lines so this property and we are going to use this and find out the locus of the perpendicular bisector from bisector to the lines so while we find out the locus what we can say that if a1x plus b1y are the two lines such that they intersect and the point of intersection is PXY the point PXY be the any point on the two bisector of the angle 1 or 2 and P is equal distance so maintaining the property and equating the distances I'll get mod of A1X plus B1Y plus C1 equals to root over A1 square plus B1 square equal to mod of A2X plus B2Y plus C2 equal to the distance between the lines so if we have considered this now we have two mods so the main problem is how to open it up right so a general outlook will give us that there will be four possible ways in which this mod can be opened suppose the first one opened up as plus and the second one as minus the first one opened up as plus and the second one opened up as plus the first one opened as negative and the second one opened as negative the first one opened as negative and the second one opened as positive now we have to segregate the cases which have occurred twice see if both of them are opening up with a positive sign or both of them are opening up with a negative sign i can cancel out both the signs from both the sides hence these two will only give me one case and this when the signs of them are different will give me one case Hence, in totality, I have two cases such that this can now further be written as just a1x plus b1y plus c1 upon root over a1 square plus b1 square equal to plus minus a2x plus b2y plus c2 upon root over 2 square plus b2 square. These are the equation of two bisectors of the line. So let us move further because we know that if these are the two lines and these are the bisectors so we will always and always going to have a confusion between the obtuse as well as the acute angle bisector right because by looking at the equation we cannot tell which one is the acute angle or which one is the obtuse angle and this important condition if the two given lines are not perpendicular that is a1 a2 plus b1 b2 is not equal to 0 mind it if two lines are perpendicular the condition will be that m1 into m2 will be equal to minus 1 and m1 for a line which is of the format a1 x plus b1 y plus c1 equal to 0 is nothing but minus a1 by b1 x1 minus c1 by b1 right the slope is minus a1 and if I will do over here minus a1 by b1 
and minus a2 by b2. If this is equal to minus 1, then the lines are said to be perpendicular and multiplying this, I'll get a1, a2 equal to minus b1, b2 and I'll transpose it towards the other end, a1, a2 plus b1, b2 will be nothing but equal to 0. So, these lines are not perpendicular, this is not going to be 0. Then one of the equations of the bisector is acute and the other one is obtuse because if the line is perpendicular to each other, the, all the angles will be nothing but pi by 4, hence there will not be any equation of obtuse as well as acute. So this was the important condition which we always keep in our mind. Moving further, let us find out the equations of acute and obtuse angle bisectors of given lines. So let us start with the method 1. The method 1 says, Take one of the given lines and let its slope be m1 and take one of the bisector's line and let its slope be m2. Let us understand the basic idea behind this. Suppose this is the two lines that we have and the angle bisector let it be represented by the red one. Right, okay. It is saying the slope of the given line is m1 and one of the bisectors is m2. And what we will do, we will try to find out the theta in between the lines. So if tan of theta comes out as less than 1, so I can say that theta is less than pi by 4. Hence, the twice of theta will be less than pi by 2, right? So if the angle which is considered it's itself acute, so the bisector of that will be the acute angle bisector. Hence, this is the concept which is being used. So, if theta be the acute angle between them, then we will find the tan of theta and see what is the value that tan theta is giving us. If the value of tan theta that we have found out is greater than 1, then the bisector taken is the bisector of the obtuse angle and the other one will be the bisector of the acute angle. By the same reasoning and the same analogy, if theta is greater than 1, then theta is greater than pi by 4. Hence, twice of theta is greater than pi by 2, which is the condition for the obtuse angle. Right? And if the opposite happens, I can say very well that the bisector taken is the bisector of the acute angle. And the one which will get opened with the other sign will give me the bisector of the obtuse angle right but that thing is very calculation intensive and we are preparing for competition so let us try to find out a more subtle way a more faster way to get to the result and this is if the constant terms c1 and c2 in the two equations are of the same sign so this is a very faster result although it uses the basic analogy between the angles of the lines but the proof of that is not so required and we'll just try to remember it as an end result right try to remember it as an end result if a1 a2 plus b1 b2 is greater than 0 and this method is only applicable when both the constant terms are positive if they are negative first convert them into positive and then apply this method if a1, a2 plus b1, b2 is greater than 0, then the one which will be opening up with a positive sign will be the obtuse angle bisector and the one which will be opening up with a negative sign will be the acute angle bisector and if the opposite happens, the one which will open up with a positive sign will give us the acute angle bisector and the one which will open up with the negative sign will give us the obtuse angle bisector. See, in the competitive exams, as told the earlier also, the time is the most crucial factor. So try to remember as many end results as you can because time saved is rank gained. So this is what our basic aim is. Moving further, now we always try to see where is the location of the origin because our main concern in the Cartesian coordinate system is the origin. Because that is the reference point for every possible calculation expression that we can do in the coordinate geometry. So, writing it in the same format when the constant part of the equations is positive and then the 
bisector equation which will be opening up with a positive sign the bisector equation opening up with a positive sign is going to have the origin right it just means this if these are the lines and this is the bisector so opening up with the positive sign we'll see that origin will lie in this region of the line in the bisector and if this is the one or if this is the one then origin will lie in this region now if a1 a2 plus b1 b2 is less than 0 the origin will lie in the acute angle and if a1 a2 plus b1 b2 is greater than 0 then origin will lie in the obtuse angle you can relate this result which with the calculated result in the previous slide if a1 a2 plus b1 b2 is less than 0 this case the one which get opened with the positive sign was acute angle bisector so similarly you can see if the is less than 0 then the origin will lie in the acute angle bisector hence we have used the positive one while a1 a2 plus b1 b2 is greater than 0 the one which gets opened up with the positive sign is the obtuse and hence the origin is going to lie in the obtuse angle region. This was the whole thought summary of the occurrence existence and the calculation of angle bisectors. So while studying the chapter of straight lines from the sessions, if you have had any doubt, you have to go to the website www.askitens.com or there you will see a discussion board. Click on that, then on the right hand side of the page you will see ask experts first of all go and select your category you can choose the category then you will post your question and after that you will click on to get answer we experts at ask ITN will revert back to you in 24 to 48 hours with the solution so in this video lecture we have learnt the concept of equation of angle bisectors and the very basic concept that lead us to follow and find out the equation of angle bisectors in the next coming part, we'll deal with another important thing that is family of straight lines and see its example and applications. So stay tuned.